Well, this was a scene back in June when the Farm to Table Scholarship recipients gathered for a lavish banquet to celebrate their accomplishments. Now, these students who've demonstrated their interest and aptitude in the fields of agriculture and culinary arts. And Mount Air Farms is partnering back up with WBOC for another school year to give a boost to students. And with us to tell us more about the scholarship, our dear friends Zach Evans, and community, he's the Community Relations Manager with Mount Air Farms, along with Lauren Hitch, the co-host of Outdoors Delmarva. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. So here with you. Tell us how the banquet went last year. Oh, the, the banquet was incredible. Um, I think all of the students really appreciated the opportunity to be recognized for their hard work. And, uh, you know, we, are, we as a chicken company obviously take it really, really serious, the opportunity to feed people here in our local community, but all over the world. And it's, it's really encouraging to see the next generation of those leaders um, showing up, putting in the work, and then looking to pursue that career and, and uh, jump into the next chapter of what that'll look like. And is that pretty much the purpose of the scholarship, is for these students? It is, it is. You know, the, the purpose of the scholarship is to s sort of give recognition to those people that are critical in our every, everyday life. And so we all eat food. Lauren and I enjoy <laughs> it. I, I know you both do. Um, but we don't often think about where it comes from. And then furthermore, the pandemic really highlighted the importance of the people that prepare and serve it. You know, I, I like to think that uh, I'm dangerous in the kitchen, but dangerous is exactly what I am. And so I rely on the experts, you know, to make sure that that food tastes good. And I rely on the export, experts to make sure it's, it's safely raised. And that's what these young people are going to be. They're going to be that next generation of people putting food on our tables. So how do students get nominated? So we, um, we encourage educators, um, administrators, and mentors to really nominate the students. Uh, we put out a call. WBOC does a great job with the Outdoors Delmarva team. Um, you can go right to WBOC.com or MountAir.com and nominate those students open now, right, Lauren? We're, yeah, we're it's accepting open applications. Now. And it's mm. seniors that are participating in ag and culinary programs. So it, The banquet was so much fun, too. I think one of the highlights I liked, Zach, was that the educators came out and their families to really celebrate them. That, that made the banquet night even more special. So Lauren, what do you think that the scholarship means to the community? I think it means so much, you know, to celebrate these students. I remember my dad used to be like, you have to fill out all the scholarships, Lauren, like get them all in. <laughs> but this one's so much more special because this is Delmarva. The culinary and agriculture around here is huge, so why not celebrate those students that are taking study in that? Yeah. Have the students given you some good feedback? Student, the feedback has been incredible, uh, all positive from both the students and the educators. And the nominations have continuously been rolling in even through summer. So we never actually did close the nomination period because the truth is um, the school year ends in June and we jump right back in in August. And we'd like to have that first nominee for September teed up and ready to go. Mm -hmm. So we've got a handful of really good nominations, but please continue sending them in. We need the help of those people that spend time in the classroom with these young leaders to identify who the best and brightest are. And another uh, banquet coming up at the oh. end of this oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah, I hope so. <laughs> oh yeah, no, look, we are committed. Uh, we're, we're gonna have 10 exciting young people in, in agriculture and culinary arts to celebrate next June. And I look forward to, to having you there. Yes. To be honest, the kids don't come to see me. They, they come to see the TV personality <laughs> from Outdoors Del Marva. They come to taste the great food. And of course, they come to receive their scholarship. So, you know, it's not only a monthly scholarship where we give $2,500 a month, but there's also an additional $5,000 award that goes to mm. two of those 10 recipients. So eight of those uh, the students leave with a $2,500 check and two of them leave with $7,500 to pursue their education and their career. And they don't learn about that until the banquet night. Yeah, it's a, it was it's, a surprise. It's a big surprise. Nobody knew who was going to win. Uh, but, you know, everybody there was, was truly a winner and they were all there to be recognized. So how can you apply? So go to WBOC.com. Um, that's going to take you to the MountAir.com nomination form. And it's a really easy nomination, mm -hmm. a couple letters of recommendation, an official transcript. Again, we just ask that an educator or an administrator or a mentor be the one that submit the nomination. And then what happens is the Outdoors Del Marva team gets to go interview them with Zach and we have fun with all of those recipients throughout the school year. I can tell you're excited about We're that. So yeah, right. we've, we've, we've had Lauren and Jason in, in kitchens, in greenhouses, <laughs> in farm fields. Uh, I'm, I'm interested to see where this year takes yeah. us. Oh, well, wonderful. We are too. So Zach Evans, Lauren Hitch. Good luck with the year, and uh, thanks again for coming in. Thanks for having us.